Failure, struggle, simply sucking at something new. It's not unique to you, it's not unique to me, it happens to all of us. Tiger Woods was not a pro golfer the first time he held a golf club. Michael Jordan was not the best basketball player of all time when he was 18. Generally speaking, you're gonna suck before you succeed and that's okay. When I started in the mortgage industry, I just left a sales job and was stepping into the world of administration, like mountains and mountains of emails, paperwork, and mundane tasks. In the first 12 months, I screwed up so often that my boss made me bring in $25 bills and every time I made a mistake, I had to actually give one to the person training me. I, I think I ran out in like two days. He wasn't trying to be an a-hole, like he was genuinely trying to help. He was just frustrated, didn't know what was gonna work. The problem wasn't my motivation or enthusiasm, it was that I was in the wrong role. I've been diagnosed with ADD when I was 5, 19, and 28. And like, it's a story for another day, but I, I was in the wrong environment for me to succeed. The challenge was the administrative skills and the industry knowledge I was working on were essential to building a foundation in the mortgage industry. Over the following 12 months, there were three times where I went to my boss and he was a great guy and a great boss and said like, hey, I really suck at this. Like, I, I get it if you need to let me go. Like, if you need to find someone else, just like, please give me a few weeks notice because <laughs> I need to know if I'm gonna not have a job. But every single time he laughed at me and said, no, like, don't be stupid. Like, you're doing great, you're a sales guy, and that's why I hired you. Yet he left me to struggle in this administrative role. And over time, I did improve. I learned routines and habits. I figured out how to buttress my weaknesses. And I learned more about the industry. And what really helped for me is once I started to understand the why of things, all these mundane steps started to click together and it became easier for my brain to keep track of it all. Eventually, I stepped into a sales role and got to travel across Canada, attend different real estate investing groups, and finally started public speaking on stage at some of these groups. I got another major story for failure for you guys some other time about public speaking. It was absolutely awful, but that's for another day. Looking back now, it's been nine years. I have my own mortgage company. I've got an amazing business partner. We've helped many, many people solve different problems, buy homes, create a better future of their family. We specialize with the Smith Maneuver, tax strategies, real estate investing, and it's become quite cool to see our evolution. We actually won Rookie of the Year across Canada for Dominion Lending Centers and hit top 5% of brokers our second year on our own. None of that would have happened if I would have given up my first year. Now, none of that would have happened if my boss gave up on me in the first year. So don't give up on yourself or those around you. When you start something new, it's going to suck at times. Like you're going to fail often. But if you just keep going, you're going to achieve far more than you ever thought possible.